Hello there, my Aquarius friends. This is Absinthe, and I'm here with your short reading. I'm a tad late. Sorry about that. I had a lot of drama this weekend, and I had to clear a lot of my energies. Because there was a lot of negative crap. But I'm here now. Uh, we got a card. Make sure to look at your sun, moon, and rising. So that way, uh, you can get a global understanding as to what you should do in your situation or rather what issues are popping up that you need to confront speaking of moon we have the moon reversed so yeah um, probably a lack of intuition I'm thinking it's kind of like um the high priestess in a way when it's reversed and as you can see here with the schematic like the two pillars Kind of thing going on and then like the crown of the moon under her head in the second um card there the high priestess card we also have the crab here just like cancer in a way the symbology of cancer not to mention that actually if you see here's the sun and then the moon so we have a symbol symbology of the eclipse and I think uh, eclipse happened recently if I'm not mistaken so that's very apparent so not picking up good uh, vibrations you know uh, go a little further so you're diving into murky depths of your innermost mind, actually. There may be fear, anxiety, and confusion. That's the negative vibes thing. So maybe you're afraid of going into the unknown. You know, and uh, you have to kind of like explore and figure out why that is. You know, so that way you can confront that problem. Um. You need to go deeper, actually, and not be afraid to go deeper. I know it seems like a daunting task, but um, it's kind of like how we know we feel like ghosts don't exist or whatever, but then we see one and we get scared. You know what I'm saying? But there's no need to fear them because they're not physical, so they cannot actually hurt you. <laughs> you know, but it's like. Uh, still get scared of it you're so conditioned so be scared of something that you don't normally see every day you know that uh it's just instinct you know so you have to bypass that instinct you know and consciously uh decide i'm gonna go do this and i'm not gonna react this way you know so to the core of your emotions actually you have to go deeper to Maybe emotions, you're scared of figuring out, like, if I feel this way, this might change the situation for, you know what I'm saying, not favorable, you know, but, um, it is advised that you do go deeper, you know, to find out why you feel a certain way, what do you actually feel, and then, <sighs> how are you going to go about it, you know, so that you stop feeling that way, <clears throat> okay, um, you need to do this to release this fear and then you'll be free okay so you get you're like the lion with the thorn in there and then <laughs> you need a mouse to come to pull it out <laughs> kind of thing so that's what i kind of um depict from this it also look like tombstones like i feel like this is a cemetery and also we hear we have like the exodus the splitting of the two lands so it's like also to going from the land of the living to the land of the uh, maybe not dead but yeah maybe dead but also like from the physical world to the spiritual world you know so i feel like there's like a crossing there and it's also like a mirror so you know everything that is in the physical or the spiritual either way you want to put it is also in the in either one you know so it's a reflection in a way which is very true um yeah so you want to 
take advantage of this. Alright? Anyway, that's all I got for you. I try to be very thorough. Um, I do do uh, longer readings once in a while. So, if you like that kind of stuff, feel free to sub to me. Uh, you're always welcome here. And, uh, you know, bring your friends. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> feel free to like, comment, you know, share. Because, um, you know, that's paying it forward. You know, and other people benefit. It also feels good to share. Because sharing is caring, right? <laughs> That's a bit cliche, but yeah. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy your day. Uh, here in the States here, it's like really hot. So I hope y'all enjoy that. If y'all like summer, you know, go get some sun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Bye.